favorite things your girlfriend or partner does for you. This is a really good list. I can't wait to break it down. But first thoughts, five words or less. Watch Steven Seagal movies. <laughs> <laughs> Rub my sore feet. Yeah. Please. Any decisions she wants to make. Mm -hmm. Tickle my back, please. What? No, oh, yeah. that is, oh. that's common. Oh, every night before oh, I go to bed. Oh, like light. It feels so good. Oh. Not like. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say scratch my back, but I like it more like a tickle. Yeah, you do. Gently stimulates your back. I would, hairs. I've thought about like, are there any places, you know, like a massage parlor that would just tickle my back for an hour? That's how <laughs> much love I that. love back tickling you. <laughs> okay, so let's go through <laughs> this list. Okay, let's see. Let's start from 10 and go down to one. Okay. I feel like one's a really nar nar one. Okay, number 10, buys your pillows for your bed. This is the girlfriend. This list is supposed to be the girlfriend. I kind of wanted to apply it universally, but just know that it was written for the girlfriend buying it for when, their boyfriend. When you hear buys the pillows for your bed as girls, do you think, of course, I'm doing him a service? He <laughs> should be so grateful. Yeah. Oh, I've done that. I've done that too. Yeah, I'm just like, you have one thin ass, old ass pillow from what? Like your childhood bedroom? No, we need to spruce up some more pillow action. Mainly for me, so when I go to bed, I have a down pillow, and then you have a nice down pillow too. Right, I guess I'm more of the, the in the scenario, the dude, just because I have one really thin pillow. And everybody <laughs> I know has a million pillows on their bed. I'm like, how? What is the point of these things, really, right? No point. Ha! Ha! Stupid! Ha! Uh, number nine, gets your snacks you've never heard of. I love that. So, yeah. you know, you might have your, your stereotypical snacks from growing up with, Doritos, Cheetos, I'm just generalizing. And then all of a sudden you have like these Kashi crisps that or are seaweed. amazing. Slices. Or kale chips. I see berries. Steps on your back is number eight. I'm gonna go through a few of them. Seven, puts her feet on your dashboard. Likewise, right? Mm -hmm. Who cares? Friends, I don't mind. Is that anybody is that I do, you? I do mind. Do you really? really? I do mind. I do not I do not mind the step on the back thing. That's fantastic. Okay, she you... hates how much she has to crack my back. But there's wow. definitely little foot huh? Marks, the feet marks. The little the ankle marks. Okay. And then the toe marks. And there's nothing. <laughs> there's just ankles and yep. toes. Okay, uh, squeezes and smacks your butt in public. Boop! I always do that to Mark. <clears throat> he doesn't like it. Really? Like in the bedroom, that. but not in public. He's like, I just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about doing that in public. Yeah, it's yours though. Yeah. I love to do he, it. Yes. Um, number five replaces your shampoo with girl shampoo. Uh, uh, so you have like the, I don't know, like what's the worst shampoo you could buy Her at the supermarket? Plus. Axe. <laughs> and then we bring in some like I don't know Paul Mitchell Sebastian. And when you and when you put your conditioner in, it's just. Oh, because we have a lot much, of hair. Yeah, for me, it's like that. Yeah, much it should be that shampoo. much. I, I, that's one thing I didn't know women had to do was buy so much damn shampoo. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Number four, I love this one. Plays with your penis as it shrinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after doing the deed, you're lame and you're just like boop boop boop. Boop, yeah. Boop. Okay. It's still awake. It's still awake. <laughs> Number three, squeezes lotion in your hand. I do this to Mark all the time. Really? Yeah, I'm like, look at your dry knuckles. And I just go, <laughs> and I just squeeze lotion into his hands. He works with his hands. He's a candle maker, so they're dry. I'm learning so many things now. Like, <laughs> I'm taking tips. Have you ever done any of these things? Not really, but now I will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Checklist. Yeah. Um, number two stares at you. It says it can be stealthy or it can be completely obvious without any regards if it makes you feel uncomfortable. And it could be they gave a number of examples like staring at you because you're like, oh, so annoying. You're chewing so loud, staring at you because you're gorgeous, or it could be just staring at you because you look ugly that day. That's the examples <laughs> they give. Hey, if you're in a long relationship, you go through those ups and downs where you're like, oh my God, stop chewing your cereal so loud. I want to kill you. Lily, what are you eating? Gravel? Oh, I know, right? It sounds like cufflinks going up a vacuum cleaner. And then yeah. you look at him and you're like, I fing love you. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. I think that's definitely. staring at people to get their attention. We're we're into that now because at the beginning my girlfriend's instinct was to go <gasps> like I was like a you're fuck. a dog. Would you answer to that when she did that? When she I would go You're like, "Yes." Well, here's the thing, in front of a boys, in front of my boys, I get No, no. <laughs> so I need to just say, oh, "My name's Brett, use it." Thank you. Okay, the number one oh, weird things your girlfriend does or partner, boy, whatever, to show how much he she loves you. This one grosses me out. Gets rid of your blackheads. 
Pops your pimples, right? Yeah, yeah. pops your pimples. Getting yeah. rid of blackheads is different than popping pimples, I feel like. Because they're like so deep and I down. Because I be like, here, babe, here, here's a warm washcloth. Put this on your face, and then they do it, and then it's like, here's a blackhead scrub. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whereas popping pimples, it's like you go up and you pop somebody's pimple or that. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Nor would my husband let me. My husband would never allow me to. Oh no, she do salivates that. when she sees one. Oh, she me too. Me. Yeah. I, I like just if even people I don't know, I'll stare at the pimple and I'll like want to pop it. <laughs> okay, you guys, please share your thoughts on this very weird list. Add any other weird scenarios that you may have encountered with your relationships, and we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Sugar.